Hi everyone! I recently came back from a trip to Queensland. I was there for about eight or nine days and I kind of did a little bit of shopping, as you do, and I always find some great things in Queensland so I just thought I'd show you some of the bargains and, and things that I've been looking for that I managed to find there. Um, it was really great weather, a lot warmer than Sydney, um, but I had a great time and I'm going back again in Christmas because I've got family there, so looking forward to that. And I'm sorry if my hair is coming off ridiculously white, like shiny because I just got my hair done today so um, it's a lot lighter than what it has been in a while. I keep saying that I know but it is like super light because I'm looking at the shine and it's just crazy so sorry if that puts you off but please stay tuned to um, my haul for the rest of the goodies that I've got to show you. Um, first purchase that I made I hadn't even left the airport I uh, went to Victoria's Secret. We don't normally have Victoria's Secret in Australia we, I knew we had a store that I think opened the end of last year at the International Airport, but I was at the domestic airport and they had a store there, so I was definitely going to check it out. I'm actually going to North America, so the US and Canada, November, December of this year. So I really want to try the makeup because I've purchased things from there before, like the bras and underwear and stuff, but never the makeup. So I thought I would try this. They had a trial pack and the sample sizes are really great. So I thought I would trial this and then when I go to the store, I won't be overwhelmed by all the makeup, knowing whether it's any good or not, that I'll just be able to go and buy different things of what I want because I, I will know then whether I like it. So anyway, moving on to the purchases. So this was all in a box. So if you follow me on Instagram, I'm known or I'm on there as the Kelly bag. So if you want to go on Instagram, you'll see the box that it came in because of the packaging and because I was traveling, obviously ripped it out of the box and had to leave the box in the rubbish and the same with the bag as well. So... This is everything that was all boxed up nice and pretty, but you'll be able to see it on Instagram if you want to see what it looked like. So this is first the perfume. This is Victoria's Secret Bombshell, and this is a 7.5? mils. That's a really great little travel size there, and it's a spritzy one, not, you know, the dabby one, which is good. It's really technical terms there, but anyway. Then what I liked about this pack was that it had pretty much everything except foundation. So you had a sample size of a lot of the different products to see if you liked them or not. So you could try them all in one day, like all in one makeup look and see how they worked out, which is really great. So this is the Airbrush FX Perfecting Primer and that's a SPF 20 and it's 15 mil size. Next was the blush and this is BS Makeup, it's got on there. And it is uh, 1.7 grams and it's in Starlet and it's Luminous luminous Mineral. That's a great sample size there. Then moving on to eyeshadows. So this is a trio called Unhibited and it's a shimmery eyeshadow. So again, just basic colours just to see what the formula and that's like. Now the last three products that were in the pack is a mascara and this is Voluptuous Volume Mascara and this is 3.5 grams. Then is an eyeliner in Extreme Black and this is 7.2 grams. And then lastly was a lip gloss, Sparkling Gloss in Delight and the grams on that was... 3 mils. I don't want to say grams, it's mils but anyway. There, that's it there. Again, look at the sizes of these. Great sample sizes, Victoria's Secret, thumbs up just for that. Then, I've already purchased these but I just thought I'd let you know, I'm actually wearing Revlon Lip Butters Candy Apple. I really love the colour and because I love the red so much, I actually went and bought another one that was Red Velvet because I like the red so that's a deeper red for winter because Australia is still in winter unfortunately. Even though I'm looking forward to summer so much, um, I'm actually kind of getting a double winter because when I go to the US it's going to be winter as well But anyway, it's going to be snowing so it's going to be really cool Next moving on to some other products that I bought uh, Some nail polish. I went to a couple of beauty supply places Just to check things out see what they have because sometimes you can find some really great Unusual things or different products that you've never you know from overseas or whatever So I always go and have a look no matter what and I just came out with these nail polishes look They're just a bit of fun. They didn't work. I'd have to say but the colours are awesome. This is laid on me nail colour. It says do not shake, dip brush and apply for a unique colour effect. Unfortunately it did not work but really what do you expect for three dollars. But I love the colour because it's hot pink and the khaki and then that really bright orange. Awesome colours. Now this one you'll see what happens when it mushed. This is in like a pastel, pastel shades. So that's it there. It reminds me of um, lollies or candy. You turn it there and it mushed. 
but mind you both of these have been on the plane and that's all the damage that was done so that's pretty good really considering it says do not shake the last nail product that I got from the um, beauty supply place was Serena nail color in black pearl it's kind of like the OPI one I think but it doesn't really last as long. The colour's still really nice, but just obviously not as nice as the OPI. I think that was $5. And then also from there was some uh, the Beauty Case false eyelashes, all of Flutter. And again, a couple of dollars for those. And last thing that I got from a beauty supply place, now they were from one supply place and this was from another. Now if you would have seen, I've already purchased the custom colours before, but I couldn't get the quad case. Now this was $5. Now this was great when I saw this, I was like, yes, I can put those colours in there. But I didn't check it until I got home and it's dirty. With the green there and the green in here. Like if it was on display, that's okay. I don't mind buying display stuff. But at least clean it or at least tell me. So I'm not really happy with that. But I don't live near there so I can't go and take it back. And it was $5 so honestly, just I shouldn't be complaining about it really. But anyway. Then moving on to some more nail products. This is the Sally Hansen and it's the new um, Rock of Ages and it's in star quality. So it's the hot pink with the purpley blue stars on it. I really love that. I thought that's awesome. I love that print. Then some more nail polish and this is Nail Enamel in shade 004. It's like a mauve. I don't really have anything in this color. And that was just a couple of dollars. That's from the chemist. And then another Revlon product, which I've really liked the Revlon nail polish lately. So this is in um, 230 in Popular. It's like a pastel pink with um, lots of different glitters in it. It's really nice. It's like a really milky, pinky colour. Then next, I was really um, wanting to purchase while I was on holidays uh, the OPI. I was looking for the OPI Spider-Man collection. And so I got a couple. And this is Just Spotted the Lizard. I'm sure you guys have seen that. It's a really popular colour that they brought out. Then the next one is absolutely gorgeous. I love this blue. It's Into the Night. But I think they should rename it Spidey Blue because it just reminds me of his suit. And the last one is actually from the Amsterdam collection. It's I Have a Herring Problem. And I love this. I love the colour. It's not a pastel. It's like a bluey grey with like a glitter in it or it's silver. It actually looks like foil. Like a foil effect. Anyway, love it. So I got those, and what I was actually, apart from the, what's it called, it looks like a lizard, it's just spotted a lizard, I keep calling it something else, but anyway, when that was the one I was looking for, but then I did know about the magnetic nail polishes, so I did decide to purchase those, and I got them from Ulta 3. Now this is a brand that is actually sold in uh, Chemists. I know China Glazer brought these out, but it was, China Glazer was ridiculously priced for these, and I also bought some extra magnets as well. And the China Glaze, you have to purchase the magnets separate, which I think is ridiculous. So that's the two different effects there. But you also get a magnet that comes with it too. So if you lift it up, that's the magnet there in the packet. Now this is in a Lua. It's like a mushroomy pink with a fine glitter. This one is in Spellbound. It's like a gray black with a bit thicker glitter. Then another nail product is the um, Glam Nails Medicare Nail Art Pen. I got it in white because I wanted to do some like striping effects or Vs. I wanted to do some nail art, especially with those different colours that I've got now. So, And then moving on to some eye products. Um, this is from Essence. They're the easy, no, Essence Stay All Day Long Lasting Eyeshadow. Now this one is in Gammy Goes To. It's like a goldy bronze. And the next one, I wish they'd make them in flip tops. The next one is Steal the Show, and it's more like a silver. That's it there. And these are a couple of dollars. And they're very similar to the Maybelline 24 hour color tattoo, if I put it up the right way, that way. And I've already purchased like about, I think, four of these off eBay before they came to Australia. They are now available in Australia, and this was $8.95, I bought it on the last day of the sale at Target, and this was the only one left. So it seems like Australian girls are really embracing these because we've been waiting so long to get them. And this is in uh, bronze, isn't it? No, tough as torp. I keep saying bronze. Tough as torp. And that's the colour there. So we really want to try what if there's much difference between these guys, but um, it's not much difference in the price really. So considering we expected these to be horrendously priced like 
these, which are $20, but I, like I said, I haven't really paid, I think I paid full price for one of those, so, because I just think $21 is crazy, crazy. Then next, moving on to some jewellery, and I really, really love this chevron, I've seen it in a couple of other people's videos, the chevron nail, uh, nails, the chevron rings. Now I have a House of Harlow bracelet that is very similar in the, um, that it fits in like this with the three pieces and so I thought that would look really good with my House of Harlow bracelet um, because it's similar but not exact, you know, not too much same same so that was just, I don't know how many, couple of dollars from La Visa. Then also from La Visa was this lovely headband and it really reminds me of Missoni. We didn't get the Missoni collection for Target in Australia. I don't know why we kind of get to miss out on that stuff, but that really reminds me of that. And actually, considering my hair is so light, this is going to come off really good. That's the colour there on my hair. And um, in summer, I can't have my hair as straight. Well, it won't stay as straight as what it is now, so I'll wear a lot of headbands. So I really thought this would be great in the summer because I have a nice white dress and this would be nice with it. So it has like the elastic at the back there and then you can just tie this either underneath or to the side or wherever I just really like that it was cool that was um, near the checkout I think something else that was also near the checkout is this um, I don't know what to describe it what is it multi wrap a flexi multi wrap now as you see it here you think it is a bracelet it's like a snaky kind of effect it's like a gunmetal but here it is it opens and twists and twists and opens. So you can have it like, look, it sits there like that. So you can have it, that's actually a good thing. So you can have it over your head as a long necklace. Oh, watch me smack myself in the head. Or you can have it doubled. Well, if you could get that over your head, you could have it doubled like that. Or you can, you can see I'm twisting it. Seriously, look, just twists like that. And then you can have it as a bracelet or in summer, I think with a maxi dress, you could have it as a higher, like a upper arm bangle, I think you'd call it. Now this was at the checkout. It doesn't have an end to it. I've seen some that have a snake end and I don't like snakes. So um, I wasn't really happy when I saw those ones. But when I saw this, I thought awesome because it's all one piece. And this was how much? $16.99. So that's from La Visa. I just love it. If you can see the effect of it as well. I think it's awesome. It actually reminds me of a worm more than a snake. So I'm going to call it my worm bangle. Then next from La Visa was this lovely um, spiky necklace in gold. And it's really light and it's on this, I think it's called a gross grain, cross grain, something like that, ribbon. You can see the ribbon there. I like that you could have it like when I've got this cardigan on so I could have it quite short or I've got the option of having it quite long. So if you have it longer, you can have it layered with another piece. And it's really light too. And the pieces, they don't feel like they're going to stick into you. They're just kind of on like a thin cord, I think. Yeah, they're on just a cord there and really light. One of the girls in the store had it on. I really liked it. I don't like heavy necklaces because I don't want to be like feeling like I've got this heavy weight around my neck. So I really love that. I love the options with that. Next, another necklace that I got, speaking of heavy, because this is heavy, is um, from Diva. And... It reminds me of the HRH collection. It's a really thick chain. It's quite heavy, but not like... It's heavy that you feel it, but heavy that it's not annoying. And it's got a parrot clip at the top. Um, it's in a gunmetal grey, which seems to be my colour at the moment. But you can also get it in like a really bright gold, or you can get it in a silver. Now I already have, you know, bracelets and necklaces in silver, so I thought I'd go the gunmetal. And um, yeah, it's a really nice piece there. Then also from Diva, I got these little owl earrings if you can see them with the crystal -y eyes just little earrings there I like wearing little studs so if you get up and you just want to put some earrings on you can just chuck those on then next from uh, Sports Girl was this lovely fingertip ring now that's it there I just love that it's simple but it looks really nice I like that and I like where it sits and it actually you know, when I heard about these, I thought, oh, that's going to be really annoying, but it actually just sits quite well there. It's not annoying whatsoever. Like, I could wear that all day. I just, it doesn't feel like something's there. And next, another ring, which reminds me of, like, a knuckle duster. But anyway, this was $4.95, and this was from Sports Girl. 
Again, another simply plain piece with that lovely turquoise colour in there. So you can wear it on your two fingers or you can wear it in your middle and your ring finger if you wanted to. Then also from Diva, I'm going to show you these two together because I think in another video I bought some earrings, these really chunky earrings that I'm going to use as um, collar tips. So if you don't know what collar tips are, they're, um, they, they're these. <laughs> you put them on, see the tip, okay, see that? And on the back there, the badge, so you actually pin it through the collar and then these will be the tips of your collar, like that. So now I was so excited to see these because I was going to use the other earrings. So now I've got these that are like wings and then I've got these, another gunmetal. So again, these ones actually have screws, if you can see that on the back. They've got screws there. So what you do is when you've got your collar, you just push your collar into it and do the screw at the back. So I've got a couple of shirts that I'm going to show you in another video with the collar tips and some other necklaces and how to... Um, really show off the collar tips or the necklaces with um, collared shirts or button-up shirts. So um, look forward to that in the next coming weeks. Now I also have some um, clothing that I purchased because I know I, have, I don't show a lot of clothing in my videos so I'm going to show you some shirts that I purchased. The first one, it's so cute, I love it, I love the colour, it's a really bright yellow and it looks like um, dots but they're actually in love hearts and I'm sorry it's not ironed because I wore it and I washed it. So these are the little sleeves here. I love the Peter Pan collar. I really love collars, as you can tell. And it, the collar doesn't go all the way around to the back, which is fine, but it has this exposed zip. Now this was $10. $10 from Kmart. I didn't know whether it would suit me or not. It's actually kind of long. I just think it's like a quirky little piece. You can wear it with jeans, which I've been wearing it with, or you can wear it in a pencil skirt. Um, because of the collar, it's got that sweet look about it. So that was $10 from Kmart. Next was a lovely little cardigan that I purchased, and this was also on sale from Jackie E. I love their stuff. Um, it's it's like, what would you call it, like a watermelon or a coral, and this is definitely spots on this one. So that's it there. I just really like the colour on me. I think the colour's really nice. Three quarter sleeves. It's It looks short, but it's actually not as short as what um, I thought it was. And so, yeah, just really nice for coming into spring and summer when we finally get it, because I'm just over winter. And next onto some shirts. This is why I have the collar tips, because I wanted to put them on some shirts that I've purchased. Now, I know that you guys in North America, you've got some of your lucky things, and I've been seeing all the mint that everybody's wearing. So when I saw this, I picked it up because I couldn't wait for summer. And if I didn't purchase it, I knew it was going to be gone. So this is a shirt here, and you can already see the back, but anyway. Let's just pretend this is buttoned up. So that's it there, like a buttoned up shirt. Now if you go to the back, it has this lovely keyhole. You can see the keyhole there. Now it looks a big keyhole, but it's actually not because your bra strap kind of comes just underneath there. So you don't have to wear a strapless bra or anything like that. You can still wear that. And it is long sleeves, but it has the tab there that you can roll up the sleeves if you want to. So that's it there and it's got the double pockets. It isn't one of those um, mullet shirts or high-low shirts. It is actually exactly the same length front and back. So I just think it's a really versatile piece. Like all button-up shirts, you can do so much with them. Next, I actually saw this in Sydney and they didn't have my size. So I was really excited to be able to find it in Queensland. It's this lovely blue. It's more like a purpley shirt. Again, it's a long sleeve with the pockets there. Uh, long sleeve shirt with the tab there but the best piece is the back. So if you go to the back, it has this lovely pattern. So it's just underneath your shoulder blades and it is actually sheer. So if you can see that, you'll see that lovely pattern there. It's just a beautiful material and a beautiful color. And I just loved it from the moment that I saw it, I wanted to get it. Um, and so I was so happy that I was able to get it um, when I went to Queensland. So it is one of those high-low shirts, if I can show you. See, it's a little bit longer at the back, not too much, a little bit longer, but I think it's great. It's going to be so versatile and I just loved it. And the last piece that I have, in clothing that is, is this shirt here. It's a classic piece, I think, with the black and white, very Chanel, and um, with the black collar and the, oh, no, my shirt's just fell at the back. And this black piece here, and it also has the black cuffs as well. And I just think it's something that you'll always wear 
and sorry, my setting's gone haywire here at the back with the shirts. And um, yeah, it, it is sheer. So you can see there, you can see my hand at the back. So it's quite sheer, but you can wear a cami underneath. And again, it's just a really versatile piece. The colors like, you would just always wear that. I just think it's something that you would always have in your wardrobe. So that again was from Jackie E. Now the last pieces that I have um, were some sunglasses. And these I got for $5. And they just really remind me of the Chanel ones with the little bow at the side there. And I'll show you them on. That's them there. You can see the little bow. Just nice for five dollars. And these were from where are they from? Ally, I think Ally they're from. And that's A W L Y. I'll put all the stuff in the subscription. I mean, in the box below. So that's them there from Ally. But they were just five dollars, and obviously, you know, they're a take on the Chanel ones. And another pair of sunglasses that I picked up, and I'm sure you guys have seen them previously in other people's videos, like Carly Christman has them, and also Shell Barbie here in Australia has them also. They're the Prada ones, the Prada Baroques. Now, I got these also. I don't know what it is with me in $5 sunnies, but I got these for $5 off eBay, free shipping as well. So I'll show you them on. They're not as bug-eyed as what I thought they'd be. They're actually quite nice. I did also find these in Queensland, but they only had them in hot pink and blue. And I just wanted something classic because I really like this side, like that swirl. And I think in black, it just shows it off the best. Um, I will try and put the seller below. They actually came from Hong Kong. And then, like I said, $5 free shipping. And they came in this nice packaging. I mean, you know, it's just styrofoam. But for $5, I didn't know whether they were going to be scratched, they were going to be broken or whatever. So I was really happy that they took the time to put them in a nice box. And... They're exactly what I thought they were going to be. So that is it from me. That's everything. Um, I hope you liked my video today. If there's anything that you have any questions on, please leave it in the box below. If you'd like to subscribe, please go up and press that subscribe button. And also, if you liked it, then you can hit the like button. So until my next video, I'll see you all guys soon. And happy shopping. Bye.